That night is better punish game. Oh, Even with the nerf. I always was trying to DI back like behind him. No, I got you. I didn't get up much. But jumping into this first match, we see a pink fresh. Literally jumping in. Yeah, exactly. Jumping in, getting a quick 36%. It is crazy. You know, I came, I was in, uh, I was actually yeah. outside the scene for most of, uh, uh, the beginning of this year, and I came back and suddenly we have Bayonetta and Corrin. They can lay down some sick Sorry. combos. A rip. But here we go. Um, no, Cyrus is no slouch either. You know, he's definitely knows Falco in and out. Um, best he might be able to. Best Falco here? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, I'm not too familiar with you know with everybody here, but I can say for sure that um, Cyrus is definitely the best Falco. Uh, in the region, yeah. That, at the very least, that I have ever seen. And there's no other Falco mate. And here he is, you know, going. Whoa! Actually, taking first stop from Pink Fresh. And we all know how amazing Pink Fresh has been doing lately. You know, taking third at Glitch, losing out only to Void and, and Mr. R. And you know, he's he's keeping the momentum going actually. You know, getting his his quick grab combos. You know, these the quick. Jab to, to down tilt. Yeah, he loves that down tilt. It's a very strong uh, follow up. Combo starter. Follow up and combo starter, yeah. And here we go. You know, let's see if Pink Fresh can close this out quickly, otherwise, he's going to have a little bit of a deficit to come back from. Jeez. Oh, this forward smash. Oh, Cyrus. Cyrus is all over him. He's looking to take this game right now. Oh, he's looking for an air dodge. Yeah, at this point, with with rage and everything, you know, he could be, he could take him out in the next move, in the next up oh, smash. Oh, and the back air will take it. Okay, well that's fine. I mean, again, Osiris has got a huge, a huge lead. We'll see what Pink Fresh can come back with. You know, as you know, <laughs> pulling out those uh, essentially stairway yeah. combos. Well, Bayonetta has rage right now, so that may affect some of the combos. Oh, absolutely. Well, that's yeah. true. He, uh, he could be seeing. Uh, Osiris falling out of some of Bayonetta's uh, strings. Yeah. You know, the way that we don't want... Pinkfresh definitely doesn't want that to be... Oh, Ooh, and that's game one. Not letting up any momentum or pressure the entire game. Osiris takes it convincingly. It's just, it's just 7%. Now, I didn't know this before I saw Pinkfresh fight MVD, but you cannot DI while you're in witch time. So so what Pinkfresh is looking for in that situation is witch time so you can get... Some of those zero to death. Absolutely, with it, especially with the rage and everything, he can make something yeah. happen off of just one witch time. You know, all all it takes is one. But you know, again, Osiris, Osiris took that so convincingly. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what. Uh, Ooh. Here we go. But again, we saw this at the beginning of the last game too, where uh, you know, Pink took a very quick uh, 30, 30, 40 percent, and then uh, Osiris brought it right back. Jabs. Osiris is an interesting player. You know, I think. Os I Osiris is one of those players who has, um, he's, in, he's incredibly intelligent where, uh, and he matches that with an incredible amount of drive and, uh, and motivation to, yeah. and just like purpose, trying to get as, as good as he can be in this game. And, you know, the first time I met him, he, he was doing things that I had never seen before and he was like, I think Osiris is one of those underdog players where he's he has incredible potential and it just it just takes one moment to really to bring that out and we could be seeing that right now. Um, here we are, you know. Oh my God! Even even here with Pink Fresh. Yeah, see, he's fishing for that witch time. He wants it so badly. And Osiris he knows once he gets it, Osiris is dead. Right. Ab uh, absolutely. That's. It's never going to not be a threat, you know, despite wha whatever oh. they nerfed it with, or nerfed it Oh, by. the... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. But here we go, you know. So I was DIing away, showing knowledge of the matchup. And that's something you always want to do, and when uh, Bayonetta does his two diagonal side Bs, right. you want to DI away, because uh, Bayonetta's only follow-up is either, like, the first hit of fair, or two up Bs. Okay, so he's able... To, so he knows, how, you know, DIing -I yeah. out of it. This is really, really interesting though. This is dead even game two. You know, this is Pink Fresh really needing to, uh, Look, it's a down to make tilt. something happen. Because Osiris again, he's it's going back and forth, but I feel like Osiris is really controlling the the momentum here. He's controlling the pace of the game, and 
I, I wonder if Team Fresh is feeling that though. You know, you know. Again, took third at Glitch last weekend. Losing to Death and Mr. R and Losers. Right, and I mean, so Team Fresh is a. And that's oh, it. there we go. All right, so we're going to be going to game three. That was. I don't know, this is, this is incredible to me, you know, just going toe-to-toe -to -toe, uh, with Pink Fresh, who's yeah. been winning uh, Xanadu consistently. Um, yeah. well, Cyrus knows that he can beat Pink Fresh. He knows he can beat a lot of PR players. Oh, absolutely. He's, he's never, ever since, I've, ever since I met him, like, last year, he's always had this, this great confidence about him, too. You know, he'll have these moments where he really beats, up, uh, beats himself up, but he never, he never loses confidence. He never loses his, uh, uh, you know, that uh, motivation to just continue to get better and better. And it's, it's showing here. Game three with Pink Fresh. Oh, again, Pink Fresh getting oh, that man. one hit. Oh, man. And that's so much damage. We're less than 20 seconds. Okay. Right. Less than so. 20 seconds. Wow. A little after 20 seconds, and Osiris is sitting at 112%. So I rarely see Osiris using up B. If he's close enough to the stage, like if he's below the stage, he'll try and do a wall jump side B. He loves to do that. Yeah, it's, it's a nice trick to catch your opponent off guard and start to, and maybe even get something started. You also, know, the way that it pops somebody up in the air. Yeah. Oh, he also man. banks on people dropping shield before the last hit of fair. Because even when the fair hits the ground, it kind of has that last hitbox. Right, he knows the timing for it. And that's something yeah. that he really... Uh, it takes a really strong level of awareness to just know exactly when to place a move out. Just like that. Just like what you said. He gets that last hit of fair. Um, so, again, here we are. We're at a uh, last stock. Oh, Cyrus is uh, last stock. Um, decently, like a high percent, a decently high percent. Decently high percent. On Pink Fresh, but I don't know if he can. Falco being a no. fast forwarder that did work the two the double oh oh man oh man something that really happens to Osiris a lot is that he gets re he gets very frustrated and it's it's so it's it's heart wrenching uh, to see he he wow. puts in so much you know he puts in so much effort and he takes <laughs> he, he puts himself completely into the game and it just you hate to see things like that. Happen.